going to do a little 59.26 hour review. I know, very specific, aren't I? And wait for it. There it is. Oh, gas. Damn it, 59.26. Anyways, so I'm uh, out here in glorious southern Alberta. Canada, yeah, mm -hmm. and this is my 2021 Husqvarna TE250. So, um, when did I get this? June this year, with uh, one hour on it. One hour. Previous owner had some uh, health problems, what have you. I uh, ordered it in 2020, kitted it out. Wrote it for an hour, then had the health issues, then it sat around, and then he sold it to me. So, what I'll maybe do is, uh, I might do a few videos of this, but uh, overall riding impressions, a little bit of background on what I rode before, how good of a rider I am, all that other BS. So before this, I had a 2017 Beta 350 RRS, which is the four-cylinder, four-cylinder, four-stroke single. Uh, very enjoyable bike, but out here, you know, it did okay for me, but it, it wasn't really floating my boat, uh, you know, sinking my submarine as it were. So well, this came along. The beta went off to my buddy Matt in BC. He seems to be enjoying that immensely. And uh, yeah, so I've been flogging this ever since. So before the beta, I had a 2018 beta 300 double R. Love that to pieces. Put about, uh from 25 to 300 hours and so sorry bought it at 25 hours and sold it at just under 300 250 i forgot did that in about two seasons so got ridden lots really really enjoy that bike uh typical beta stuff you know shitty plastic um you know this that the other thing but smaller in stature uh very manageable for a fellow like myself because you know i'm short five foot nine all of that maybe in the kiss boots five ten um so the beta worked really well never really gave me any issues uh two or three rebuilds on it i forgot um before that i had a 2014 ktm xc 300 with the linkage very much enjoyed that as well um had the four cs forks luckily mine were revalved so they were bueno uh, before that i had a 2011 uh, XC300, that was the uh, PDS two-stroke, and before that, my very first dirt bike about six years ago was a KTM 450 EXC. Talk about the worst thing to get started on. So, there we are. Uh, so, impressions. Uh, what can I say? I like two-strokes. This this is, this is, you know, the cat's proverbial pajamas. Um, Great power, honestly. The TPI has has uh, you know a little bit more compression braking, as weird as that sounds for a two-stroke. It's very smooth. Obviously not vibey. This is the counterbalance motor. Uh, you know th the usual stuff. I'm not going to go through specs. These have been around for a little while. I've had these many issues with it. Just put oil into it. Uh, I used to premix a little bit of oil into the tank, but I mean that just goes out the pipe. So. I stopped doing it after a little while. Still on the original rear pads, original front sprocket. I think gearing on this is 1352. It actually suits me really, really well. Uh, obviously, front pads are good. Now, out here, we don't really ride all that fast. I don't anyways. I am slow as shit. Oh, that, that's the other thing. I'm an average rider. I ride with good guys, and I ride with slow guys. Therefore, I'm average. So, uh, you know, I can't do a balance, uh, wheelie, all that other good stuff. I do pull off a pivot once in a while, that kind of thing. Anyways, I ride typically for grip, low revs and grip. That's, that's, that's the key. You know, I, I don't like to give it a lot of gas, spin the rear tire, so on and so forth. Typically the tire that I just pulled off the back, which was a Midas uh, 762. I'll maybe put it in the description later. That lasted me 50 hours. So it kind of gives you an idea, um, you know, how I'm on tires. Yes, I turned that tire front to back to, you know, get more knobbage out of it. But getting back to the bike, 
really good very smooth very enjoyable very playful do i miss the 300 nah not really um you know you got to work it a little bit harder and just have a little bit more corner speed but again not a bad thing so moving on gearing stock suspension explore forks here's the thing with these forks this is just my opinion and you know what they say about opinions they are sort of like assholes everyone has one so for cs when you're going slow over technical stuff they're fine they work really really well speed things up and they start pogoing a little bit right okay not a problem crank in the old rebound crank in the uh, compression and increase the preload a little bit and now stiffer than a horny dog's wiener and you know when you're going slow yeah it's good when you're going fast but it's a big compromise because then it just beats you up over the slow stuff over the big hits everything else like that so what did i end up doing del saggio kit uh, i might put in a link down below no i didn't get them for free god damn it i paid for it myself but they did do a very very good job and do this bike justice now so about 450 kanekistan dollars thereabouts uh, maybe a little bit more get them from your local dealer fairly easy to install nothing really to it right so now suspension sorted uh one thing i was putting off is getting rid of the um idler uh set screw or the uh idle set screw that is uh, stuck in from factory removed that about five hours ago set the idle the way i wanted it uh temps are getting a little bit cooler now um it was zero degrees celsius this morning uh, but about uh, 10 or 12 in the sun now, so nice. So I think I'm sitting around four turns on the old air screw. And the bike is sitting just about at idle, which is nice. Otherwise, what else can I tell you? I got the low seat that came from the previous owner. I got the original seat. The Rockstar graphics that came from the previous guy. I got the original plastics in box, in plastics, mint. Some bling, you know, because that's good for five horse. I can't see it, but that anodized thing is good for another five. That's good for five. So, you know, I mean, it's that's that's a 300 power right there, right? Uh, otherwise, what else? Um, shark fin, mine, uh, protectors for the uh, swing arm. Put them on. They're nice. I like them. Stock pegs actually really decent. Haven't touched them at all. P-Tech skid plate. That's a must. This is on my, I'm on my third one for the 2014, one for 2018 beta, and now one for this. Technically, unless I really, really toss it into the bushes, the pipe should last for ages and ages. So who the hell knows? Uh, next big thing on these things is radiator fan. Must have. Uh, this one's a Tusk Jobby from RMATV. Might link if I'm not lazy. Shows you temperature, you can adjust it. I have it set around 175 degrees Fahrenheit to kick in. What else? Fork seals have been good. They had two small weeps. I just took a fork seal saver, cleaned it out. Um, probably going to change the fork oil around 80 hours. Uh, flex bars, I run these on all my bikes. I really like them. And uh, XPD isolators, I think. Uh, those are like same ones on my third or fourth bike. I forgot. The flex bars are new because I broke the old other ones because I tossed the beta. Anyways, 10 degree bends. They're awesome. Otherwise, uh, what else can I say? Um, it's been really good. I really, really enjoy it. Um, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I forgot. I shaved the head. I'll put in the uh, descriptions on how much millimeters. Sathma. Sathma. How much I took out um, really improved the bike down low, so it's not as you know not as 250 like, right? Uh, very snappy off the bottom. Um, otherwise, just been riding it, enjoying it, and uh, yeah. If I miss anything, I don't know. Might put it in the comments. Might maybe talk about it later. Uh, yeah. Thanks for watching.